The economy of the Coachella Valley is largely based on resort living and tourism. Golf is the compelling element behind a unique lifestyle. With more than 120 golf courses, the Coachella Valley is the golf capital of the world. The majority of golf courses use water efficiently. However, most golf courses rely primarily on potable groundwater to irrigate. The Coachella branch of the All-American Canal brings Colorado River water into the valley, primarily for agriculture. This water is non-potable, or not for drinking, but is fine for agriculture. The canal flows by gravity, and most deliveries are made by gravity to farms that are lower in elevation than the canal. Development is reaching into the historic farming area of the valley. Today, golf courses in these areas are using Colorado River water to irrigate with great success. Another alternative to groundwater is recycled water. CVWD has three water reclamation plants that supply recycled water to golf courses. One plant supplies recycled water to Sun City Palm Desert. This one plant cannot meet all of Sun City Palm Desert golf course irrigation needs with just recycled water. However, the plant is within one mile of the Coachella Canal. A pipeline was built from the canal to the reclamation plant. When irrigation demand is greater than can be met with recycled water alone, Colorado River water from the canal is blended with the recycled water to meet Sun City's demand. This use of recycled water and a blend of Colorado River water and recycled water has been very successful. Sun City's needs are met and groundwater has been saved. The Mid Valley Pipeline will take Colorado River water from the Coachella Canal, transmit it nearly seven miles through a 54-inch pipeline to the district's largest water reclamation plant located in Palm Desert. Here, Colorado River water will be blended with recycled water and sent to area golf courses outside of the canal delivery area. Phase two of the Mid Valley Pipeline project calls for the expansion of the current recycled water delivery system. When complete, as many as 50 courses can be taken off of groundwater. Construction on the project's first phase began in May 2007. The three main components for the project are the pumping station, the pipeline, and the holding and storage ponds. All three aspects of the project were constructed simultaneously. The pumping station was built without taking the canal out of service for a single day. The pump station currently has four pumps with plans to expand to six. Colorado River water is taken from the canal, pumped into the pipeline that crosses back over the canal and travels the path of the Whitewater River stormwater channel on its way to the reclamation plant. The pipe was placed at least 20 feet below the stormwater channel's bottom so it won't be exposed in a large flooding event. Each section of pipe was 40 feet in length. The pipe's bell end inside diameter is about one half inch larger than the spigot end's outside diameter. The ends are mated together with about a four inch overlap. The sections were welded together inside and out. Each weld was inspected. The welds were then sealed and the pipe was slurried. The pipe was covered, the soil compacted, and the channel leveled and restored to its pre-construction condition, in some areas under golf courses that share the normally dry channel. Two large reservoirs were constructed, one for storage of Colorado River water and the other for storage of river water blended with recycled water. After each reservoir was dug and formed, heavy PVC lining was placed to make them watertight. Concrete was sprayed on the side slopes. Two feet of soil was put on the bottom to protect the PVC and keep it in place.
Phase one of the Mid-Valley Pipeline project is complete. Unforeseen at the project's inception, the quagga mussel has been found in Colorado River water. To keep quagga mussels out of the system, a quagga mussel treatment facility has been added. It injects sodium hypochlorite into the pipeline at the pump station. The quagga mussel treatment facility has been completed and startup is scheduled for late 2008.